Hey everybody, this is George Whittem from Whittem's World. I want to show you how to load a file into your stack for Twisted Wave. So all you Twisted Wave users who need to understand how to take a stack file and load it into your system, this is for you, okay? So we'll call this a special edition. Uh, this process is not that difficult, but it's just explaining it can be difficult. So I'm going to show you visually on screen what I'm doing here. So in Twisted Wave, you've got the effects menu and you've got the stacks function. And most of you may not have any stacks unless you've already worked with me. But if you haven't or nobody's ever sent you a stack, in the effects stacks menu, you'll see new effects stack. And that's it. You won't see any of this other stuff that I have. Click new effects stack. And that will open the effects stack window. Now there should be nothing here. Um, now the file I'm going to send you needs to be installed so that it'll show up as a stack, but you can only do that by getting to a folder in the operating system, a finder folder. So there's a shortcut to find that folder because it's buried down into the system pretty hard, pretty deep. So we'll go to stacks and then we'll bring up manage stacks. All that's going to do now is open this special hidden folder in your, uh, in your operating system. So you'll see this folder come up and it should just show stacks just like this and probably nothing inside if you've never added any stacks, okay? So you should just see stacks. Now, my stacks has stuff in it, obviously. So the file that I would send you by email or that will show up in a folder with other files. So you may get a folder from SugarSync um, that I use to send files. And inside it, you'll look for files that say .stack at the end. You should see something like Tim B and audition.stack. All you're gonna do is take those files I've sent you, download them to your desktop, and click and drag them into this folder. Okay, so if this file is you know, on the desktop or in my downloads folder, I would just simply click and drag and drop the .stack file into the stacks folder. See, now it's in the stacks folder. Now your stack is installed in Twisted Wave. So now that I want to work with that audio file, that stack, I can go to effects, effects stack, and now it will show up in this menu over here. I have mine into submenus. You can do all that within the finder if you like. You can make subfolders and, and all that. But I've got mine here and I can just load a uh, stack anytime I want and there it is it loads right up and all the effects that I preloaded for that project show up in the effects stack okay so that's that's how you load an effects stack so if you have any trouble with this please do let me know and if you have suggestions for future little tutorials on on anything audio please send an email to widdomsworld at edgestudio.com and I'll be happy to address it thanks a lot for watching